Okay, so new episode of Matnam for September 2023. So uh, as for every month uh, with Matnam, it's computational photography. Um, the, the few last months, uh, I was quite, um, how would I say, not very active in terms of, com of recreating code, new modules or new computational techniques. Um, this month, uh, basically, let's continue where we were at. Um, so st still in Iceland, uh, last month I was thinking about this bracketing of effects, um, but I wanted to have something extra, maybe in a insaturator module or a filmulator module. So here we have this black and white image on the left. Um, basically my image selection is kind of reflects where I want to go with new modules, new computational modules, new code. Um, and so that's definitely something I'm thinking of uh, besides the, the effect bracketing, random effect bracketing, um, which I talked about last month. Also, one thing I was working on is using the multiple lenses of one device as here taking the same picture uh, at the same time uh, where here it's a large uh, wide angle and the tail lens on, on my iphone 12 pro max uh, maybe work with a uh, with this uh, possibility we have not only with dual photography and that's camera that lets you choose the lenses you want to use simultaneously uh, so maybe that's an idea uh, then um, I wanted to go, uh, and being in Reykjavik, wanted to try a few, still in random mode, try a few experiments, um, seeing how the, my algorithms react in low lights. So here concerts are, are ideal. Um, that's at the Kex. Uh, uh, it's a great place for music and for a drink. And during those concerts, trying low light situations are always interesting because you have high contrast, uh, usually um, kinetic uh, blurs, and yeah, your your filters are not going to work in the same ways. Um, here again, uh, as we can see, it's it's still in random mode, but the the, the process really changes. Uh, the feel of the pictures and and it gets more sensual in this case in my opinion and I'm, I'm looking at something here I, I would like to do something uh, about low light situations or or more party environments um, uh, but also um, here are the three pictures that, uh, that's uh, around Reykjavik and in, in the nature uh, outside of Reykjavik um, this black and white, going back to something more monochromatic, um, um, as you can see on the right, uh, might be a, a pass for my development. So, as you can see, quite some difference uh, between the two pictures, even though it's the same rendering from the experimental editor in Kamare. Or again, in low light situations on the left, that's uh, Andartak, it's a great musician uh, on the far left picture. Um, uh, or this picture in a bar in Reykjavik, either very late or very early. Um, here, the pattern, for example, you can see there's some kind of overlay. Uh, maybe I could work on something that would randomize it. Not sure about that, but still, I, I think there's something going on in, in my inspiration here for something new that I would code. Or on the right, that's uh, this... Um, Traveling often it, uh, lets me have early morning uh, moments, and yeah, shall I saturate and decrease uh, the saturated highlights uh, and make them like here something darker, uh, increase the the palette uh, or decrease it actually, make it more visible in terms of colors. Here also, I've traveled quite a bit by train. Uh, trying to work with more blurry pictures um, here it's uh, I kind of like you know the landscapes from from a train and using the random mode on my apps trying to figure out what I would maybe try to develop in a new module here again two other ways of uh, rendering uh, low light landscapes or maybe like on the right this kind of mix between monochromatic black and white and, and a limited them number of colors in the palette um, and that's definitely a pass I'm, I'm I will be following next month actually this month but um, 
here again, uh, the sun, sun rising, different ways of representing it, maybe with a limited palette. Um, that that's definitely one idea that started to to create more. How would you say? I started really to be more motivated into doing something new in in that style. Um, here that was the occasion in Zurich to look at different scenes during the day. Uh, again, looking at, at colors uh, as opposed to those uh, swimmers uh, in, in one of the canals in Zurich or on the right in, uh, in one of those fancy hotels. Very different ways of uh, decreasing the number of colors in the palette and trying to render the scene. Um, or again, in very low light situations like here, how do you create something that still makes sense, uh, represents uh, the moment, uh, gives you an idea, but um, doesn't overly make it clean, perfect, just focuses more maybe on the uh, on the message, uh, what was going on uh, at the time. Um, and yeah, with blurs, uh, maybe that's, that's again, I, I like taking pictures from trains, so that's again with uh, a motion blur, uh, not the pigeon on the left, that's that's just one with texture. Does, would texture change things? Uh, and how can I work on, on the blurs, for example, on the right and still going back towards something black and white or limiting the number of colors in the palette? Um, here again on, on my way to Milan, uh, using this random mode, it's always interesting. I always get uh, some very interesting results. Uh, and yeah, I think also when developing new modules, trying to find picture, a uh, picture, trying to find new ideas, it's the same as for composition. Uh, for those who've listened to a serial episode, who have viewed it, um, I think to create new effects uh, as when you create new compositions having going to another place to a new place uh, working with new models uh, is a really good source of inspiration uh, really gives you some some fuel to go for forwards like it was this uh, big tower being renovated in the center of milan or or those tramways on the right i'm trying to figure out what kind of new module i, I would like for my for my personal work uh, and i think the the selection that I've made this month reflects uh, where I, I will be going next month. Is I'd like to go into more monochromatic or limited palette, color palette, uh, filters or well, creative filters or filmulators or simulations, and those details of this park in Milan or this canal on the right. I think that's where in that direction that I would like to go with something new. Um, here again, two uh, photos in the metro in Milan, one in black and white, uh, one with a limited amount of colors. Um, I could maybe increase that with something new. How? That's a that's a great question. Or on the right with this, uh, those train tracks, a very limited number of colors. Or here, examples. Again, with the random mode, uh, it gives me ideas. It's not ideal, but... I sort of find a new path in my mind towards where I want to go. Uh, black and white, maybe. Increasing the digital artifacts from the color palette or color details or going for something more smooth, like on the picture on the right. These are the uh, mountains on the way back from Italy to Switzerland. Or here's the last three pictures. Uh, with this one and only picture, uh, reprocessed three times in in the experimental editor of Camare. Um, very different ways of representing the same pictures. It's definitely not the same result and same feel coming out of it. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I have ideas for October. Uh, I've actually started developing uh, by the time I've, I've done this video about last month. Um, yeah, but hopefully that was entertaining. Maybe you have some questions, comments, propositions. Don't hesitate. And yeah, catch you next time.